uh, got a call this morning headed over to a um, low temp running warm that's all the description they gave me so let's check it out all right guys I'm here in the motor room it's a control controller I go to my alarm I hit enter my alarm history and then right there 217, 216, 216, 216. These are all the same system numbers, all the same alarm types. So it's a bad screen, it's all messed up, the screen needs to be replaced, but what are you gonna do, right? So I know it's IE or one, I should say, one E. Um, then we look at it on the map, which is right here. And then you locate it on the map and it's right here. It's an island case. So I'm gonna back out of my alarm systems. I'm gonna go over to my summary and click on to that one. Highlight summary. I hit enter. I go where it says circuits. I hit enter, make sure it's highlighted. And then I'm in my circuits. I know it's kind of, screen's kind of messed up, but you can pretty much make out where it's right here. There's an F, I, one F and one E. And that tells you the te target temperature, the average, and the next defrost time. But if you wanna go to see how many sensors, temp sensors are on it, you hit the side arrow. And I hit the side arrow, then that gives you your temp one, two, three, and four. This one only has one. Right there, one E, only one temp sensor. So now I gotta figure out how many temp sensors are on the case. Cause if you come here on your map, there's one, two, three, four, five, six cases it looks like. Those could be one, but it looks like there's six cases all here. But one temp sensor. So we're just gonna have to figure that out. Okay you guys, I found my case here. Temperature is 20 degrees up at the up at the controller is reading 23 degrees. That's way too cold for this type of um, Case this is a medium temp case and it's running low low temp temperatures Or damn near close. So look at this, this is all beer. It's gonna get frozen and pop soon. So um, Problems not at the case because this whole island is running like that the problems upstairs on the control so it could be EPR, it could be a T-STAT, let's find out. Okay, I'm back at the rack. I found my circuit is a 1E. So it's off of EPR. I have my gauge on there. Sorry, 28 PSI. Set my uh, EPR. It's set all the way out. Normally that indicates that it's on a float. It's a floating circuit. Um, so these will be all the way out and these will not even be in control um, All the solenoid does is just uh, Energize and de-energize for defrost So it's just running off of what they call rack pressure just the suction header pressure. That's all it's running off of and Down here, here I got my transducer for my low temp header So right now we're at 30 PSI. You see my header's running. Okay, here's the uh, for off my header, my transducer. It's running about 30 PSI as well. So we know that that EPR is wide open and it's running off of uh, this uh, suction pressure. So it's float. It's a floating circuit. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that this gauge matches the controller reading because this transducer could be bad it could be off so let's go check that you make sure that uh, task setting status is highlighted then you highlight the medium temp plus 13 the suction group you highlight that and then this gives me my compressors how many compressors are running my off which one's off so I've got three compressors running and one off. So I did verify that that is what it is doing. 
So up here, it shows my suction pressure is 31 PSI. But if we go back, that's my target. That's where it should be. Let's see, we're right there at 30 PSI. So let's go around back. And right now, we're at 24 PSI, 25. So we know right off the bat that that is at least 5 PSI off. So which could cause my suction pressure from driving down so much and uh, getting my cases cold because it is running off of suction pressure. So in, in turn, this one right here is pretty much controlling my temperature down at that case that we were at. So if I put an, I'll go check out the offsets. If there's already an offset on there, we'll switch it out. If I need to put an offset on there, we'll still switch it out because obviously this is going bad. So let's check that out. The set point, or I should say the, to see if it has an offset on the PSI, the transducer, suction transducer. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit some um, hot keys is what they're called. And we hit number five, and boom, that sends me right there, my suction, plus 13. Analog in. So it is an, an input. So it is receiving information from the transducer to the controller. So right here, it shows the type. It's a P100. Now that's for your low temp. Then there'll be like P500 for your high temp or your high pressure. So right there, you got sensor type. E is an eclipse. That's the type of sensor. So, we have an offset. There's already a five offset on that. So what I'm gonna do is, um, what I could do is take that out. Because that could be our problem right there. Somebody put a five offset on there. But to make sure that this is the actual suction transducer, you can go to the board and point right there. You can go to the board and try to find it out. But there's a quicker way to do this and if we back out, and leave it right here on this screen, then check this out is what we're gonna do. Okay, so we're back here at the transducer. So what I'm gonna do is just take it off. Just unplug it. And now we're back over here and automatically it says short one. So it's not receiving any information. So that identifies a quicker way to identify our correct suction transducer. So let me plug it back in. So just gonna plug it back in. Boom. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is go back into my hotkey five. We're gonna go down and highlight my unit. Then we're gonna hit zero. We're gonna zero it out. Then we're gonna hit enter. That locks it in. Okay, that's another, that's a discharge. So we're not gonna worry about that one. I hit enter twice, that's how I got there. So I'm gonna escape out, which is back out. Back out again. And then now I'm at 58 PSI. So let's go see my suction gauge. Boom, it's at 56, 57. Right now when I took off the transducer and I plugged it back in, that reset my compressors. So they're timing out right now, so they'll start staging on one after another. So then we'll come back and check the reading once everything's running. See, so just to let you know that all my compressors are off because I reset. When I unplugged it, plugged it back in, I reset it, so that turned all my compressors off. So right now they're just timing out, and then they'll, they'll we'll be up and running in a few minutes. All right, so now my compressors came back on. I have one off and three on. Okay, so check this out. Here's all my, my systems, my circuits right here. One E is the one I want. Well, look at that. It's in defrost. So um, I don't need it in defrost right now, but you know what? I'm gonna let it go through its uh, cycle of defrost. That way uh, I won't cause any type of uh, ice buildup on the coil or anything like that. So um, I'm gonna let it run through its defrost and I'll get back with you. All right, well that's in defrost right now. I'm just gonna show you since all my compressors are starting to turn on. Right now I only have one on and three off. Well check this out. My suction pressure is at 34 right there. Then we're coming here and 
boom, that's at 34. So that five offset threw us off. Uh, now we're reading correctly, and uh, we'll check our temperature when it comes out of defrost, and it's at a regular temp. We're gonna go ahead and uh, swap this out. Uh, I'm just gonna front seat this here. So I'm gonna front seat this all the way down, let the pressure out of just this little portion right here and then just uh, swap it out for the new one and then I'll show you how that looks when it's all set. All right, so I already installed, uh, screwed that in. I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up. Right here I have it a little bit of, um, I had it open just a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. All right, so uh, we're gonna leave it all the way open. We're gonna go ahead and put our, um, Put this back on. There's only one way this clip goes back on. There's a little clip right there, a little groove right here that that clip goes into. So, there you go. So now we got it in. We're gonna go to the controller and you see how it's reading 32 PSI? And then if we go back to the gauge, you see how the gauge is reading 63 well obviously this is brand new it should not be that far off there's one thing we got to look at when we change these transducer out they're not always going to be the same so if you could see that where it says 0 to 200 you got to make sure on the controller it says 0 to 200 or just 200 and I'll show you what I mean to get into the set point of this the, the setup we're gonna go to our hotkeys again, five. So then we see the type, it says P100. So that's where we need to change it to. So we're gonna go over here, highlight it, and then we're gonna go to the um, the arrow. It's an up and down arrow right here. Let's see. Okay, boom. See how it switched from P100 to P200. That's what we want. Then I hit enter, we locked it in. So now I'm gonna back out, and then it's gonna give it a minute to catch up. See now how it switched to 66. So now it's reading correctly. I got all my compressors started up because I'm so high at 67 now. Now it's dropping to 47. Let's look at the gauge now. We're at 47, it might be lower when we get there, 41. Okay, here's my gauge. Now we're at 36. So we'll come back when the suction settles down and we can get a better reading on that, okay? All right. Now my compressors are starting to stage on and off. So I got two on and two off. So my suction is pretty much stabilizing now. So we got a suction pressure of 34 on the controller. Let's go see what it says on the gauge now. Boom, there you go, the gauge says 34. So we know that that's reading right on the money. So we're pretty much done here. We just gotta check a few more things to make sure everything's um, all squared away before we leave. Okay, we're out here at the case. Got my fluke probe in there. Um, right here it's running, minimum is 26. We're at 28. Um, average is 28, max is 30, so it fluctuates between 30 and 26, which brings my average to 28 degrees, so which is great. Uh, that's where we need to be, and it looks like we're all done.